Hello everyone, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. As request, this video is gonna be for gel X refill. Today I'm gonna show you a very easy way to refill gel extension. As I already shared, when we can fill and we should not fill. When a client come back and you remove the gel cover, you see the nail lasts on very good, no bubble, no lifted, and she doesn't want to change a lot of shape and her nail grow out a little bit, then we can do a refill very fast for her. But if the nail is too old and she gonna change the shape, then just cut it up, soak up, and do the new one. You know why? Because nobody got time for that. Do something quick, fast, get customer in and out. Make it look nice, easy, and fast. Agree? This client nails grow out just a little bit, so I'm gonna apply dehydrator, non acid primer, and I use the press on gel glue. This is the regular formula, thinner and fast dry, and less bubble, easier for new application, faster for you to soak up. As you see, at first, I polish the whole nails and then create a small bead, push it up to level up the part that grew out. When all the gel covers, I'm gonna put under the lame and cure for one minute. The other way, we're gonna use extreme base coat to do the first coat and then cure for 60 seconds. This is the thicker formula. It's gonna be great for hot season like summer when the gel very runny and then less heat strike. Then easier to do refill or scope the gel nail is also can be able to work on natural nail. The reason I introduced this second technique is sometimes when customer waited too long, like three to four weeks, and then the nail grew out a lot, there's gonna be a really big gap between the gel nails and then the natural nail grew out. Then you will need a thicker version of gel to be able to level up faster. So this way you can do feel easier. I would refer this formula for summer use, like sometimes the weather getting really hot and the gel star getting really runny. This is great for summer use and refill. And you see when I'm done, the gel is stay there and then it's going to be nice form. After you keep one minute, you clean with acetone and then you start filing as normal. And then I file the side to make sure the, the shape is nice and the customer happy. Not really much because the gel is thin, so I'm just really minor shape the gel and then I start doing cuticle part. You know, make sure that I don't have any lifted over the cuticle because you don't want the nails to be lifted and then have bubbles. Some people refer a sanding band, you know, anything that makes you feel comfortable with cuticles. I use this kabai because it's safe for cuticles and I don't flood the cuticle with blood. After I done with the cuticle, I make sure that I buff very nice any corner for the client and I use the bay gel to apply on the nails. The base is going to help the surface be smooth and then when you apply color, it's getting close to the cuticle with no bumps, nice, last longer. Here's the part gel. I use this one to create the part effect on the natural nails. See how cute it is. Thank you for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this video. Subscribe me for more cool nail art design. I see you again.